Hey, I'm Al McGee with YETicket.com. Well, the film I'm going to talk about right now is called The Boogeyman and directed by Rob Savage. Hey, Rob Savage directed this film and it is based on a short story written by Stephen King in 1978. Now, you're going to see the posters and everything that based on the mind of Stephen King. Well, they put his name in there so he can help sell the film. Stephen King had nothing to do with this except for the adaptation of his 1978 short story. And from what I saw, it really doesn't match the film Boogeyman. Now, it was also written by the writers of A Quiet Place, uh, Scott Beck, Brian Woods, Mark Heyman. Now there's this family, there's three of them, and the father is a therapist, his name is Dr. Will Harper, which is played by Chris Messina, and you've seen him in other things. Now his two daughters, Sadie, played by Sophie Thatcher, and younger Sawyer, played by Vivian Lyra Blair, well, they all depressed and things like that, and it's horrible. Their mother died in a car accident about a year ago when he, the film starts. But uh, the little girl, Sawyer, she loves to sleep with lights on, and she has a ball that's nothing but pure light. And the reason she has that ball, which is pure light, well, she's afraid what something might be in the closet. She's afraid something might be under the bed. And of course, the boogeyman could show up anywhere. He does hide in closets and he does uh, hide underneath the bed. I don't know. We've seen that before. We really did see that before. Many of the horror, horror films, many of them. This boogeyman is supposed to have been around for a long time, according to the story within the film for maybe thousands of years. And I'll get to that part later. And he kills people, but the way he kills them, it seems natural. For example, how did, how did he get into their house? Well, like I said, his, uh, their father is a uh, therapist. And this man knocks on the door walks into his uh, house and say, look, I need to talk to you. I need to let you know something. So that character is into the house, tells the doctor about all these horrible, gruesome tales of death of his children and how the monster is strong and things like that. But then he sneaks away, walking around the house, and next thing you know, he done killed himself. And that's how the monster got into their home. I said, wait a minute. Why did he uh, choose them? Well, it seems like the boogeyman seeks out people that are sad, that are hurt and vulnerable. He scares them. He does lots of things to them. But the father, Dr. Harper, is unaware what his daughters are going through. For example, Sadie, she goes to school in one of her mother's dress. Yeah, that's right. But a couple of girls gets in tune to that. And what do they do? They bully her, put food all over her and things like that. But she still tries to be friends with them and invite them to her, her home. Well, you got to see that part for yourself. I didn't understand that part at all. Not at all. And as I mentioned earlier, the boogeyman hides in the closets and things like that. Now, there was another scene in this film, too, that I didn't understand because their father sent them to a fellow therapist. And that therapist played by Lisa Gay Hamilton. And she scares the little girl by turning out the lights in her office. She screams and she gets, uh, you know, horrified. But I didn't understand that part at all. You know, she had tears and things like that. And and then part of the film, next thing you know, the three of them are in her office as patients. I said, what? 
What's up with that? You know, I did not get afraid in this film. In fact, I laugh at a few of the horror moments in this film. Maybe because I'm an adult and I've been around for a while. And and also other things in this film I didn't understand too. If this monster's been around for a long time, long time, well, you'll see what I'm talking about. I didn't get this film. What I mean by that is what does it supposed to do? It's doing everything I've seen before. I've seen this style of movie many times, starting in the 50s and 60s. And is this a film for kids? Well, you got to ask that for yourself. I'm only giving this film one and a half palm trees out of four. But what I like, though, the young kids, they acted very well, and they made you believe they were really in trouble. I really enjoyed the acting in this film. I like that very much. But only one and a half palm trees from me, Al McGee, here at yeticket.com. Hey, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Facebook, Twitter, and things like that at yeticket. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching this review of Boogeyman. I'm your boogeyman. <laughs>